Welcome back. Peace to all your haters. Get up, relax your mind. Stop worrying about these other dudes and get your shine. Get your shine, oh man. Why you worry about me? Get your shine, oh man. Why you worry about me? Peace to all your haters. Get up, relax your mind. Stop worrying about these other dudes and get your shine. Welcome, 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 y'all. This is your host, Abe the Ambassador, here with another Get Your Shine On podcast. And today I want to talk about something real special, real touching feeling. We want to um, touch on the basis of suicide. Now, um, studies have shown that anxiety and depression is at an all-time high right now in the world. Understandably so. Life is hard. You know, there's a million different angles that can lead to depression and severe anxiety and not just the regular levels and basis of it but extreme no hope left you're just tired of everything you want to end it all type persona so um my friend michael Waffer, he's doing a campaign where he's raising awareness about suicides and things that could lead to suicides and I told him I would dedicate a brief podcast conversation to talk about it so that's what I'm doing now I love when people you know go out their way to bring awareness to situations like this because at the end of the day I don't think suicide is worth it but I understand the reasoning for it you know what I mean so, um, first I wanted to start off by saying, man, I've been through depression. I mean, I'm sure everybody at a point in time in their life has been through it. Um, different things can lead to it, whether you're insecure about yourself, subconscious about yourself, um, you lost your job, you don't know how you're going to pay bills, now everything's going downhill from there, um, we live in a world nowadays where everything is about <clears throat> looking glamorous. So if you don't feel like you meet those kind of standards, that can lead to insecurities and lead to depression that you can't keep up with the looks of everybody else. If you're that type of person, um, money, materialistic things, I'm guessing, yeah. Um uh, the most emotionally I can probably ex- try to explain would be um, the missing of love. Love is probably the most important feeling in the whole wide world. Um, everybody needs love. I need love. You need love. Your family needs love. Your friends needs love. Everybody you know needs love. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of love going on in the world today. And people suffer from that. Um, I haven't really been close to anybody that's committed suicide. But I read a million stories and you read letters that people leave behind. And it's just... It's the lack of love, the lack of feeling wanted, the lack of feeling appreciated, the lack of just feeling important. I mean, it's so on and so forth. It's real touching, you know what I mean? So for anybody out there that um, all I can say is anybody out there that if you have friends, talk to them. Don't just say, hey, what's up, what's going on? Don't just be so quick to tell them about your day all the time. You know, actually sit down and check in with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, make sure everything is right. Excuse me. You never know what somebody's going through. Even if they don't want to talk about it, the fact that you're willing to listen to it, that should help reverse the process of what they're feeling you know what I mean you gotta excuse me for um being palsy and you know seeming like I'm 
not all the way there is just because it's a very touching subject and I'm really like feeling the effects of the emotions right now so um yeah like I said you always want to be there for somebody you always want to talk to people let them know that they're not alone let them know that no matter what they're going through things are going to be okay you want to pray with them you want to always send them positive vibes and I know that's a popular cliche everybody likes to throw around but you really have to send around positive vibes you know what I mean um that's what kind of person I am I like to spread positivity I joke a lot I laugh a lot if I see you down I'm going to talk to you I'm going to let you air your grievances I'm going to listen to understand I'm going to give you a little bit of insight of advice of what I think you should do <clears throat> and at the end of the day it's tough because a lot of scenarios are easier said than done but like I said if you consistently show people that they're not alone and that they're loved and wanted and appreciated then I think you will be okay a lot of people don't have family a lot of people don't have friends so I see that every day I see that at work I see it on the news you see it on social media a lot of people lack the bare necessities it is to maintain a normal life if you don't maintain a normal life then you can't maintain a normal mindset we can't maintain you know you're saying this physically, mentally, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? So, um, like I said, my friend's doing the movement. And I just had to be a part of it. And since this is my art form of, you know, doing podcasts and all that like that, I told him I'd drop him a conversation. It's, it's so sad, you know, because we lose people for nothing. You only get one life. And life can be precious. You just have to learn how to enjoy it. And people are giving it up, you know, because they're mis... I'm not going to say misguided, but it's the lack of love, I believe. The anxieties of the world. The world sets such high standards that, I mean, nobody can really live up to them. Nobody. But the weight falls on other people. It falls on everybody, but other people handle it differently. So, like I said, man, check up on your family. Check up on your friends. Talk to them. Don't just talk to them, talk to them, but sit down, talk to them. Chill with them. Laugh with them. Hug them. Tell them you love them. That goes a long way. That goes a long way. Like... It's times that I've been ready to do stupid stuff out there, stuff that will probably cost me some significant things. But at the end of the day, when I think about my mom and when she tells me she loves me or my sister, my friends, or just a lot of people, because without you here, you don't just affect your life. You affect other lives, too. I know... Social media is kind of a, uh, it's kind of a, uh, how, can I, how can I explain it? When people die, you know, some people like to remember people through social media, but that's a lot of the time where a person finally gets the love that they deserve. I feel like if you give that person that kind of love when they're alive, then they probably wouldn't be dead to begin with, no matter what the situation is. You know what I'm saying? Um, just a lot of things that we could dive into. Um, it's, it's so much to talk about that <clears throat> I wish I had some co-hosts here with me or some guests doing something with me here and get their perspectives on it but at the end of the day we gotta learn to spread love gotta learn to spread love i mean if you just go on the internet 
excuse me, and Google some of these suicide notes and people's last words or things of that nature. It's like it's it's heartbreaking to see that a person really just couldn't take it no more to the point where they had to end their own life. Life is beautiful if you could just find a way to appreciate it. You know what I mean? I know it's easier said than done, but there are other things that you can do besides suicide to to help you out. And this is for people who are still alive and who are just feeling depressed and severe anxiety and things of that nature. There are things that you can do. There are outlets that you can do. There are people you could talk to. Heck, you could talk to me. You could hit me up. Send me a message and I'll gladly have a conversation with anybody i mean that's what i'm here for that's what i do you know what i'm saying so it's other things it's it's not worth it y'all it's not worth it you belong on this earth for a certain amount of time and that amount of time shouldn't be dictated by you it should be dictated by the earth and god and, and the, the you know nature and all of that you know what i'm saying so I mean, at the end of the day, um, I'm going to drop y'all some suicide hotline numbers. And for anybody that's in trouble, anybody in need, anybody that feel like they're on the edge of doing something to their self that could be harmful to them or their family, all you got to do is stay strong and just ask for help. I mean, they got therapy therapists out here for you to talk to. They got people you can see, you know, to um, help you change your mindset and to appreciate the gift that is life and not want to take it away. You know what I'm saying? Especially your own. You know what I mean? So... Of course, everybody knows that I'm from Maryland or whatever. I'm here in the United States. I know I got a couple of followers in um, Australia I've seen. I know I got a couple of followers in New Zealand that I've seen, consistent followers. Thank you, y'all. Um, the Netherlands, I think, was another one from my YouTube account I've seen. Um of course, America. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop off some suicide hotlines before I leave right quick. Um, of course, I'm going to start off with the USA. The number will be 1-800-784-8433. That's 1-800-784-8433. Um, like I said, I got some in the Netherlands. The Netherlands would be 9 Zero 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 seven six seven again. That's zero nine zero 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 seven six seven. You know what I'm saying? Um, Canada, our neighbors in here in America, it would be five one nine four one six four eight six two two four two five one nine four one six four eight six two two four two. Um. Anywhere else, you probably just got to hop on Google, hop on the internet, hop on somewhere. And if you're not one of the people who feel like they need help, then you could be one of the people who are out here helping. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, at the end of the day, we got to be here for each other. Save a life. Suicide, we need to focus on why people are killing themselves. We need to change the world so people won't feel the urge to kill themselves at alarming rates like this. I mean, you read the newspapers, people jumping out of buildings, jumping off of bridges, jumping in front of trains. I mean, like, not only are you killing yourself, like, look how they doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, in excruciating ways. You know what I'm saying? Like... It's crazy. We got to stop this. We got to raise awareness to keep people 
from committing suicide. If you could just save one life, just focus on saving one life and then build off of that. Go from there. But like I said, it all starts with love. We got to spread the love around. Be a friend. Be a real friend. Be a real family member. Check in with your loved ones. Check in with your friends. Always talk to them. Always show love. Don't just hide and by and then you on with your life. No, sit down. Take a care in them. Take a, you know, an interest in them. That's what I'm trying to say here. So, just do that. And one by one, I feel like we can get this turned around. Like I said, um, this one's dedicated to Michael Watford. He's the one that brought this to my attention. So, I told him I would speak on it during one of my podcasts. I ended up doing a separate, you know, a solo segment about it. So, Mike, I'm going to shout out Mike Mike Wofford. That's his name on Facebook if you want to look him up. And I think he's writing poems with the suicide hotlines numbers attached to him. And him and a group of my friends are there, like, doing poems. And I'll probably end up doing that, too, but... I also wanted to do it this way because I have a nice little following when it comes to my podcast. So I know where to reach, you know, a few people and we can get this started the right way. So once again, I'm your host, Abe the Ambassador. And this was a very special Get Your Shine On podcast, Suicide Prevention. Remember, y'all, it takes a life to save a life. All you got to do is spread love. I holla at y'all. One. Peace to all your haters. Get up, relax.